show you how to add social icons to your website. This is a Squarespace 7.1 website and we have lots of options about where those social icons could go. So there are a couple of different ways to set them up. I like to start by going to settings and social links. Now here is where you can paste in each of your social links. You'll notice that I have Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Now, if I were to remove one of these, I could click on it and click to remove it. And I'm gonna click cancel because I wanna keep it. And I have social icon turned on. So that means when I add these in a social icon block, they will appear. You can also rearrange these by dragging them. So for example, if you want YouTube to come before LinkedIn when those are displayed, you can do that here. And I currently have these in my footer, so I have just rearranged these guys, but let me put it back so you can see how it will switch back and forth. So if you wanted to add a new social link, you would just paste in the link and hit return. So I've added a Dribbble link here, and we see that it appears here. Now this is not my Dribbble account. I don't have one, so I'm going to head to remove and confirm that removal. So here are my social links. I have them here in my footer. Let me show you how that's set up. So essentially, when you edit the footer, you can add sections, like any sections on your website, and I've added a social links section here. So for instance, if I wanted to add that anywhere else on my site, I would just go to a new page, and let's go to my blog page, for example, and let's pretend that I wanted to add them here. You would just edit the page, and anywhere in a section, you would click plus and start typing in social links, and there they are. So in the social links box, you have a couple of design options. You can change the alignment, so you can make them right, left, or center aligned. You can change the size, so you can make them extra large to extra small, and then there is a style option as well. I like the regular for my brand, but you might pref prefer circles or squares or rounded. Lots of different options here for you to play with. So let's go ahead and click apply here just for the moment and save. Now, what if you want to change the color of these social icons? You would actually do that in the colors menu. So if we go into site styles and click the paint brush, go to colors, we would look at the color theme that we're currently using for this section, which is lightest one. Normally we could click on our social icons and it would bring us to that here. That's not working today. So I'm just gonna scroll down until I get to social links block and main color. So I could change this to a different color depending on the theme that I'm using. So let's just go ahead and Go to done and save, and you can see that they are now the orange color. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off because I don't want to keep them there, but that's how you would use, I'm actually going to go ahead and put my color back as well while we're chatting. So that's how you would change the color and location of those social links. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this block, get out of the design menu. So let's go ahead and delete this guy and save. Now, in addition to those social icon blocks that you can add in the footer or in any main section, you also have the opportunity in Squarespace 7.1 to add social links to your header. Now to do that, you would click edit, edit site header, and you would go to elements and you would turn on social links. So there they are. You can change the social icon size here by making it smaller or larger and then you can also change if you go into desktop you can change the element spacing here to move your links closer or farther away from the social links now you can also change your link spacing to make that smaller or larger and play around there now i'm going to discard those changes i don't want to keep them but that is how you add social links to your header. Now, if you don't want those social links to be so far apart, I'm going to add some code below that will let you keep your main links the same distance apart 
but put those social links a little closer together so they don't look so weird. So I'll put that code below and then you can just change out the distance to adjust it for what looks right for your website. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your website.